So yeah, that is a fun fact, that the radiation can be strong enough to break my bone. Hello, it's been a little while, so I thought I owed everyone an update. <laughs> my cat is over here. She's just gonna be partially in the camera shot. If you don't know, I'm Samantha. I have breast cancer and it spread to the nearby lymph nodes and also to the bone in one of my ribs. And I am currently going through radiation treatment. People don't really know a lot about it, so I thought I'd make this video. Obviously, I don't know everything that you might want to know so if you have any other questions leave a comment below and i will get back to you or you can send me a message on instagram or however else you like to communicate with me so basically the first question that i get a lot is why do i need radiation treatment so sort of a backstory when i was diagnosed with cancer um they the doctors told me that i basically had three big steps to go through, well, sort of four. But first thing I did to treat the cancer was chemotherapy. That was to kill cancer cells and shrink the tumor that I had in my left breast. I had a great response to chemo. My type of cancer, which is estrogen and progesterone positive, um, doesn't usually have as great of a response to chemo as some other types of breast cancer, but mine had a great response, so that was really good. It did shrink the tumor a lot to where I really had the option of doing a lumpectomy for my surgery, which is the next step that I had to do. The surgery was to remove the tumor from my left breast, and at the time of surgery, there was cancer found in the lymph nodes still, so the chemo hadn't completely gotten rid of all the cancer in my lymph nodes, so all of my auxiliary lymph nodes were also removed. So basically the big question that people ask is, why do you need radiation on your breast and your lymph nodes area when you removed all of the cancer from that area? When I had the surgery, yeah, everything was removed and all the margins were clear, but basically it's expected that there will be some tiny amount of cancer left over. When you think about how small an individual cell is, I mean, it's pretty much impossible to ensure that every tiny little bit of cancer is completely gone. So the radiation basically is targeting that area in the breast where the tumor was and the area where the lymph nodes were to just catch all the rest of whatever is left over. So hopefully that radiation will go in there and it will zap every little microscopic tiny cancer cell that is left in those areas so that it's gone. <laughs> and I will also be having radiation on the rib that the cancer spread to. It's not possible to remove with surgery, so I basically have to have some targeted radiation on that, trying to kill all the cancer that's in that bone. People usually understand that one. It's really the breast part that people don't really get why I need to do it, so that's why. Another question is how often do I have radiation and how long does it take? I have radiation every weekday um, so I don't go in on the weekends and it's about the same time every day. I would say it takes about 45 minutes usually but on Wednesdays I have checkups with the doctor so it takes longer and sometimes it takes a lot longer when they have to do extra mapping or extra scans or x-rays and tests, so it can vary day to day. I will be doing 33 days of radiation for the breast and the lymph nodes, and then after that's done, I will have a break. Goodbye. I will have a break and then I will have five days of radiation on the rib. So what is a typical day like for me when I go in for radiation treatment? I have this little card. I scan it in the little scanner and that like makes me pop up on their system that I am there and when they're ready for me they call me back. I undress from the waist up and put on a hospital gown and then I go into the room with the big machine. When I get in there, I get up onto a table which has a special made mold um, just completely unique to me. It was sort of like a bean bag and on the first day when I went in there, I 
put my arms up over my head because that's how you have to do it and put my head back in it and it completely molds to like probably my shoulders up to that whole part of my body and all the air is let out of that bean bag and it hardens and then you just have that mold of your body there that you will lay in every single day you go in for radiation. I lay on that and then I get lined up by the four tattoos I have. I have one under my arm over here, one under my arm over here, one here and like one underneath. They move me around and try to get me perfectly in the right position and I basically have to sit completely flat and still while they move me to get me lined up with the lasers and stuff in the room. They basically pull down the hospital gown all the way down below my belly button um, and then they put this little square machine sort of that tracks my breathing on my stomach and I have a box drawn on my stomach um, so they know where to put that box every day. I also have all kinds of marks like all over um, that tell them other things about how to line me up that sometimes they need to remark every day because it comes off in the shower and so that's why I have those permanent tattoos that never come off. So after they completely line me up, they do a bunch of scans and tests and stuff. There's just like a big machine and it has all these moving parts that just kind of rotate around you and come up close to you, come up far away. It just, I don't know, it, it does lots of things. They, they go out of the room because they're doing like x-rays and stuff. And, but they will call into me and they will tell me to take a deep breath in. I hold that breath for however long they need to be able to take their scan. If I don't take a nice enough breath, then I have to do it again. And sometimes it can take a very long time, especially the first week I was struggling with how exactly I was supposed to be breathing and it took me a while to, you know, finally get it down. Then when they're done with all of that scanning, they actually do the treatment and basically they do sort of the same thing. They step out of the room, they tell me to hold my breath, and the longest that I hold my breath is probably 20 seconds while they do the radiation. They do it in all different areas. They have to keep coming back in and telling me to breathe and drawing things on me and attaching wires to me and measuring stuff and making sure everything is perfect because it's very important that it's perfect. They don't want to radiate the wrong part of you. So the next question that I will answer is why? Why do I need to take those deep breaths in and why do I need to hold my breath during radiation? And the answer to that is actually a little bit scary. It is very important that when they do the radiation they do not hit my heart. They can't really go straight, like have the radiation just go straight into my body because if that happened it would hit my heart and if you radiate your heart there can be lots of different complications that come with that and some of those complications might not show up for another 15 or 20 years um, and then it could be a really big deal and they really don't want that to happen and they really wouldn't be able to tell if they did it. So when they do the radiation they're basically doing it from the side so they're shooting it through at an angle so it's not straight through but even when they do it through at an angle it still could possibly hit your heart so that's why they tell you to take the deep breath because when you take a deep breath in it sort of moves your chest out and moves your heart back there's just a lower chance of anything hitting your heart by accident so that's why they also have to be very very careful they don't start sending the radiation until I am in the perfect position and I have taken the perfect breath in and I am completely lined up the way they need me to be because it is so dangerous if they do hit the heart or things that they're not supposed to be hitting. You may wonder like, well, what if you can't hold your breath that long or what if you cough or, you know, those types of things. The machine will stop. It'll stop giving the radiation. If it detects any change or any movement, it'll stop automatically. So they do everything they can to make sure that this is safe. It's just a little bit scary. <laughs> Another question that people wonder is, does it hurt or can you feel it? No, when it's going in, you can't feel anything. You can't really tell 
that anything's happening at all. The only reason that I can tell is that a machine will turn on and it makes a noise. The only thing that hurts is having to sit in the same position for a long time because sometimes my arm starts to hurt because, you know, I had the whole surgery on it and had the lymph nodes taken out. So sometimes hurts to keep my arm over my head. I still can't completely straighten it. So obviously, yeah, it's a little bit uncomfortable sometimes. Another question that I get is, how is the radiation that is treating your breast and lymph nodes different from the radiation that's treating your rib? The radiation that will be treating my rib is more of like a intense targeted radiation on like one spot. It's a much, much higher dosage of radiation that will be going to that one area. The radiation actually is strong enough to actually break that bone. So that's kind of scary, but my doctor also told me that it's not really that important to have that rib. If I break it or fracture it or whatever, they won't do anything, like nothing needs to happen. I won't notice anything. They'll just kind of feel bad for fracturing the rib. <laughs> so yeah, that is a fun fact that the radiation can be strong enough to break my bone. The last question that I will answer is what are the side effects of radiation? So besides what I said of, you know, it possibly hitting your heart and having complications with that, other side effects are it just makes your skin really red. It's basically just like getting a sunburn, but you know, when you normally get a sunburn, you just don't go back out into the sun. Instead, they're gonna keep radiating you until they're completely done with the whole treatment. So, sometimes people's skin can start to peel um, and just get pretty bad, like a pretty bad sunburn. I just had my 13th day of radiation today, and it is a Wednesday, so I had a checkup with my doctor and she said that my skin is holding up really well. I have some special cream that I can rub on it to help with itching. It'll still get really red, but I won't have as much irritation. I can notice some redness. I can tell where my skin looks different on this side than this side, but other than that, it's not really bothering me. Another side effect that people complain about is just fatigue and I've noticed some fatigue, but I'm not sure if it's actually from radiation or if it's just from having to do a scan. I also think that all the breathing that I have to do sort of wears me out a little bit, um, but it is still very early in my treatment and most people say that they don't really notice any extreme fatigue until closer to the end of their treatment. Overall, um, side effects are way, way, way easier than chemotherapy. I'm doing really well. I'm taking naps a lot, but it's nowhere near as bad as the fatigue that I felt during chemotherapy where it was basically like I didn't even feel like I existed. The other thing that's different about chemo is just that this is every single day. Chemo you would do once a week or every three weeks or every two weeks and it's just one day of being in the hospital, this I have to drive all the way to the hospital, be there for an hour or so every single day, and then drive all the way home. It just takes up a lot of my day. Really overall, it's it's not that bad. It's not that scary if you try not to think about it. It's a fun time. Also, can we talk about like my hair growth? Like two months post chemo here. Also my eyebrows and eyelashes are coming back, so. That's fun. The main complaint I have with radiation is that it is just pretty cold in there. They give me warm blankets every time, but I have to basically be uncovered from the waist up. And you know how they always keep rooms really cold that have machines in them because it's good for the machines. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to follow along with my cancer adventures. If you know anyone going through breast cancer treatment or any kind of cancer treatment, feel free to share my channel with them as well to help them out if you think it'll help them. Yeah, that's all. Bye!